So I'm from uh, I'm from Winston Salem, North Carolina, and you guys might not. Think that you've heard of it. Well, okay. Um, you may not think that you've heard of it, but you have, because if you've ever smoked a cigarette in your life, we probably made it for you. You're welcome. Yep. R.J. Reynolds Tobacco is from my hometown. That we make Winstons and Salem's and Camels and God knows what else. Uh, to show you how important cigarettes are to my hometown, my high school was named R.J. Reynolds. Yeah, next year they're changing it to cancer. <laughs> you know what's always confused me though is that like um, kids would get in trouble for smoking in school. You know, they'd get detention. And I was like, really? Is there any other greater show of school pride? <laughs> you know, it's like, with every puff, that kid's just trying to help the expansion of the gymnasium. <laughs> What would make sense is if like, the teacher came in and they were like, what are you smoking? And the kid hands it to him and they're like, Philip Morris? Detention. Now that, that would make sense. That would make sense to me. There was actually this, uh, this huge controversy. I remember when I was a kid, there was this huge controversy. Joe the Camel, do you guys remember this? Like they were like, you know, you can't use Joe the Camel because he's a, he's a great camel and my kids want to grow up to be like him and smoke. Parents, if your children look at you and then look at an animated camel in a Hawaiian shirt wearing sunglasses and want to be like him? We have a bigger problem than smoking. <laughs> yeah. So lots of stuff started in my hometown, actually. Like I said, cigarettes. Uh, Sara Lee Bakery, Krispy Kreme donuts. Yeah. Obesity. <laughs> heart disease. All started in my hometown. All started in my hometown. <laughs> Kane's underwear, also. We, we can claim that. We can claim that. Guys, is there anything more Southern, let's be honest, is there anything more Southern than a carton of cigarettes, a pound cake, and a wife beater? <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure actually my hometown is the only place where walking around in your underwear with a cigarette hanging out of your mouth is considered patriotic.